Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, it's called the Full Faith and Credit Clause. You see, Article 4, Section 1 of the United States Constitution, known as the Full Faith and Credit Clause, addresses the duties of states within the United States have respecting public acts, records, and judicial proceedings of every other state. According to the Supreme Court, there is a difference between credit owed to laws as compared to credit owed to judgments. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Full Faith and Credit says that they, if it has the seal of the state, and it is a public document, a record, or a judicial proceeding, all of the states must recognize it. There has been this thing about authentication. You know, people have been getting their birth certificates authenticated. Now take a look. This is the state of California, County of Los Angeles. Now let's scroll down. We ain't going to scroll down too much. We, we don't want to scroll down too much. We just want to scroll down. Now take a look. County of Los Angeles, that's one seal. Now take a look. Hold on so that y'all get it. That's the County of Los Angeles seal in the middle, watermark. And then you have the great seal of the state of California. This is another seal. That's two seals. Uh-oh, look at that. There is another seal, the registrar of the county clerk for the state, the County of Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, you have a county seal for the county, you have a registrar seal for the county, and you have a state seal for the county. Interesting. That's four, uh, three different seals, sorry, and five signatures. Five. You say you only see four signatures. No, there's five signatures. There's another signature over here. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, mama signature, doctor signature, register signature, and take a look. This is the clerk. See? It is signature, registrar, clerk. Okay, and here it is the signature of the county registrar clerk. All carry with it the full faith and credit. So why are people getting their birth certificates authenticated? Talking about, well, it shows the full faith and credit. Excuse me? These three seals, only one of the seals was necessary. But you have three witnesses. The three seals plus the full five signatures, another signature over here. But you have the full signatures plus the three seals, that's seven seals, seven witnesses to this document. Why in the world would somebody get this authenticated? Mm -hmm. So I just thought I'd show that to some of you guys because there's been a lot of talk about people authenticating their certificates. Again, in order for it to be full faith and credit, all it needs to have is the seal. That's all it needs. Now, because you'll see that it'll say the seal carries with it the full faith and credit. Oh, let's matter of fact, let's get the judicial, let's get the statute. Let's do that. S T A T U T E statute. Can you say statute? No. Liberty. No. Statute. No. Liberty. I'm looking for the statute because see there is the clause. There is that statute. There is that statute. That's what you want. You want the little rinky dink statute. Okay. The reason why we want the statute because the statute says the same thing the clause says. Santa! No. Clause! No. Anyway, the act of the legislator of any state, that Secretary of State, the county recorder, territory possession of the United States, or copies thereof, shall be authenticated by affixing the seal of such state, territory possession. It's already authenticated by the seal, but I've been saying this for years and nobody's been listening to me. <laughs> anyway, the records of judicial proceedings of any court, of any state, territory, possession, copies thereof shall be proved or admitted in other courts within the United States or territory possessions thereof by 
attestation of the clerk and seal of the court affixed there too. Do you understand? The seal is the authentication. Such acts, records, and judicial proceedings, copies thereof, so authenticated, shall have the same full faith and credit in every state within the United States and in its territories and possessions as they have by law and usage in the courts of such state territory and possession from which they were taken. This is the Second Judiciary Act of June 25, 1948. It is actually called the Judiciary Act of 1948. So, again, if the seal authenticates the document, why are you people who are not taking your birth certificates outside the territories and possessions of the United States getting it authenticated? thinking that somehow you need to do that because somebody told you by getting it authenticated with the Secretary of State, that's what you need to do. When this tells you authenticated here, and then each paragraph tells you about the seal being an authentication. Okay, see, seal of the court, attestation, attestment, as basically an affidavit, authenticated. See, shall be authenticated by affixing the seal of such state. The seal authenticates it. Okay, there's your evidence of authenticating a birth certificate. There you go. It's already authenticated once you get a certified copy. Have a good day. Goodbye.